Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For this month of August, I have a special tarot offer, which is called The Tales of the Sun. And it's a reading that was divided into two parts. So so they're not necessarily the two-part readings, they're not necessarily exclusive to each other, so you can still receive uh, quite a, a lot of insight um, upon just ordering one of them, but they were made to be complementary. And this is a reading that touches on themes of power and empowerment, the sense of being the co-creator from within our own lives. and. This is a reading that was designed to reflect a little bit of the Leo-themed season we are currently on, which is exactly about that. Creativity, self-expression, empowerment, pride, and success. So if you would like to know more info about those specials or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal, uh, the PayPal link, which is down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So, Sagittarius, I do feel like you're a little bit confused during the month of August. Some, some things that are solid in your life, some things that are taking form, that are well established, that are um, kind of providing you results and, and some, some degree of um, stability or security. Those things that are yours, let's say, things that you own, things that you control, things that it's upon your domain. Um, whatever this is, is starting to uh, make you a little bit confused. Because I feel like the things you hold or the things you own right now are not enough even though they are providing something to you, Sagittarius, during the month of August, there might be this well sense um, that you need more, that you desire more, that you crave more, that you need to go uh, fetch some uh, new things um, to bring life to your life, to bring this lively vibration. The thing is that you might not know what, what to bring, what to seek, what to look. You might be aware that you are unsatisfied with certain things. You might be aware that you need something else. You just don't know exactly what's the missing um, the missing ingredients in whichever the metaphor for this recipe is about. So some of you are looking for the things you desire. You're looking for answers. You're looking for um, your own. It's like this, there's this energy of self-inquiry that it's needed in order to be free from a phase or a moment, a period where there's this perpetual chronic dissatisfaction with the things you have. It's like the more you receive and the more you have of what you have, and not always that is, um, is a bad thing, sometimes that's actually a great thing, but the more you receive from what you have, from what you know from what you can do with your eyes closed, the more you receive from the same fountain of whatever source this is, I feel like the more lost you get, the more trapped you feel in a world you don't understand. And you don't understand because this world was created by you. And so you don't, you might not understand why you're questioning it because you created it. You have done what you have done to have the things you have. So what you're doing, basically, Sagittarius, is that some of you are going through a profound sense of crisis of faith, and um, not only crisis of faith, more than crisis of faith, I'm sorry, it's crisis of identity. Who am I? What do I want? Where do I go? Who do I want? What do I choose? What's going to make me happy? Why are the things that used to a, be a source of motivation and, and driving forces in my life stop being a, a force that makes me feel right that makes me feel driven in the appropriate way so some of you might feel like your ambitious side your side that wants to explore and conquer and win and do is still 
present but at odds with this and this other side of you that doesn't want to do anything because how can we do or how can we go anywhere without knowing where we are right and so i feel like some of you don't know where you stand you're living a little bit in a pretense mode or there might be this notion that you are living in a way that doesn't at all resembles how you truly feel inside which is it inside you're much more lost and in doubt than what you appear because you appear as the emperor so you appear during the month of august steady secure established focused ambitious capable ready with a lot of uh, attention into the material realm the good father the good husband the good son the good student the perfect leader the perfect boss so you are composed this is the energy of the emperor and for sagittarius that are not internalizing in, in integrating this masculine archetype which is the emperor that we can all manifest and personify this might be a strong male uh figure in your life or a very strong um energy of control it could also be that so in whichever this is either there is this very controlling figure in your life or this authoritarian authoritarian figure in your life this figure in your life that um exudes respect right from you but that might be sending for some of you sagittarius dealing with this on the outside you might be dealing with someone that uh, is sending you mixed signals you might be dealing with someone that yes appears to be all in control and and have everything quite even a lot <laughs> in control because the devil is underneath this so some of you sagittarius especially female sagittarius you're attracted to some type of character most likely you're dealing with a character that you know is wrong for you or might not be the best type of person for you there's this addictive quality obsessive quality but you still crave it uh some of you are attracted to a person that is in profound crisis again as i was saying and that is not at all this all composed figure that some of you are uh it's like the things that you are attracted for this person might not be at all what's underneath right that mask of control that mask of power um and for others of you you are attracted to sagittarius uh that are doing this that are going through this you are maybe attracted to a sagittarian man or woman doesn't matter it could also be that it has this 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 facade going on so this is why the contradictory elements might be quite hard to deal with because you don't know who this person is you don't know who the sagittarius is and so you don't know if you love them or not if you want them or not if you can count them count on them or not if you if if it's uh, something that uh you should end or not and you don't know because they don't know as well and that's why they cannot give you answers so some of you uh going back to the sagittarius some of you reach, need to be really cautious into what you're selling of yourselves out there into what you're making others believe from you into what you're trying hard to get and to win just for the sake of winning just for the sake and the thrill of getting things your way and then losing them and then then um giving up on them some of you are going through this where you have this obsessive compulsive this, there's a little bit of a compulsive behavior warning to Sagittarius out there where August might bring that compulsion to to the front and some of you want the compulsion here is by either engaging in risk risk um how you say risk taking risk taking activity something like this in risk uh risky activities in general where you know that there's a high degree of risk involved and that gives that adrenaline rush 
Uh, some of you are, are looking for engaging in activities that you know are risky or dangerous or just not healthy, or not um, activities that might even be taboo, that might be, you know, just society, society, societally, I'm sorry, society, society wise in the eyes of society or morally considered wrong. So some of you are engaging in things to feel something. And you, you, you're willing to do things just for the sake of getting that rush and, or that result or worse, that person. But then as you grab it as yours, you leave it. So be very careful with this, Sagittarius, because I feel like uh, some of you might need to be stronger than your own demons, stronger than your own um, compulsion in order to not hurt you and others further further apart and away. Some of you feel um, homeless. When I say homeless, is that there's a sense for some of you Sagittarius where, again, where, wherever you are, there's this lack of grounding, there's this lack of home feeling, belonging, connection, support, intimacy, protection, shelter, all of those traits, they are lacking especially as you go into September. The beginning, you might feel like, again, you have everything figured out, you're, um, you're the king of the castle or the queen of the castle, you're planning your future, you're focused on the future, you're focused on exploring business or exploring um, ideas and relationships that are going to open up this world of possibilities for you. You might actually travel and there might be some disappointment with this travel. For some of you Sagittarius uh, looking to travel to experience some of that lively force or to recover for some, from something, to figure out something, you might go somewhere with high expectations and actually those expectation, expectations might not be filled, fulfilled. They might not be met. You might not, especially if this is an old uh, habit for, for you, Sagittarius, to go uh, and run or evade the situation temporarily and then come back feeling recharged because you traveled, traveled or you had a different period of time to reflect and, and get yourself ready to engage again in the situations you left behind. I feel like this time it won't work that easily. I feel like there's frustration or uh, tension even associated with travel or movement. It means that the things you're trying to push forward with and move based on the wrong motivations, you will find resistance and you will find some sort of disappointing. I think that your energy is an energy where you start really motivated and you start really, really, really f high with energy and then you lose it. You lose it all energy. As you start, you lose at the middle. So this is a process some of you are going to... For Sagittarius, de dealing with a lot of issues with control. They have a lot of control issues. Uh, this can be particularly hard to deal with because what you're being called to do is to allow things to be what they are now undefined a little bit unreliable a little bit out of understanding allow things to be shown to you instead of you going after them because the hangman it's an energy that it's suspended temporarily is suspended by the tree he has nothing but that sense of stillness. So he can fight against uh, the ropes that are holding him, but still he will go nowhere. He, sooner or later he will give up the fight because what, what can he do? The only hope he has is that someone passes him by uh, and saves him, right? Or that when the time is right and when he's meant to awaken to the truth that he's meant to awaken, Miracles happen and the ropes might just disappear. So basically, this is some of you are going through uh, having your faith again tested. 
and challenge in, in believing that whatever you want to know, to achieve, to have in your life, you will have it once there's a certain awakening that is currently most likely missing or lacking, a different, a shift of perception from a very low place, which is the devil and the emperor, the very lower, 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 lower places we can have in terms of, because when we say low is about places of pure, pure, pure materialism. It's just the material that matters. And the hangman is the awakening to the soul. Some of you are going through uh, what we call a rite, a rite of passage. You are going through one thing to another. You are learning to integrate most likely concept of the soul, alignment with source, with channeling from divine energy, feeling divine energy, believing in that things we um, don't see, but we feel and we experience, believing in this higher force, actually being a part as well of this physical life. So joining physical with spiritual can also be, for some of you, something um, to consider. Again, I feel like you might be facing resistance you might be facing situations that are not going your way and getting upset and angry because of it. Some of you might feel creatively and mentally uninspired and block. It could be that you're having a difficulty in um, thinking outside the box. And so, in a way, feeling like you have ideas, but you don't know how to verbalize your ideas. You don't know how to communicate how you feel, how you think. Those type of block mental blocks creative blocks that can be quite difficult actually to go through especially for creative um energies and people personalities creative blocks are reflections and symptoms of of course things we need to work on because when those blocks happen is because there's something about you that is not flowing that's another thing what is what is what it is that it's not flowing sagittarius is it what? What kind of energies you're not allowing to happen naturally? Are you forcing a relationship to happen? Are you forcing an idea to happen? Are you forcing uh, approval? Are you forcing change? Change will happen. The relationship will happen. The business deal will happen. But you have to work on foundation. Trust within you. Make it happen first inside of you. And be sure that you are making it uh 100% committed with it with it you know that that's what you want because others of you don't know you think you you know what you want but you don't so I hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting donating and supporting my channel I really appreciate it and please keep doing so hopefully we'll see each other soon